A beloved YouTuber is accused of grooming her fans and exploiting them for her own personal gain. He was a child. He's not even the only child that she was talking to. This is who she really is. She uses kids for her own gain. Colleen Bollinger's journey to stardom came with its consequences, with stories of her past now haunting her in the present, making infamous headlines all across the internet and damaging her reputation forever. Colleen Ballinger facts for her own benefit. She's done it to me. She's also asking, what's your favorite position? But who is Colleen Bollinger? And what made her the internet's most wanted? I should probably tell you guys who I am in case someone doesn't know, which would be kind of weird. If you literally don't know me, then were you just born? Or are you an old person who lost your brain? Because otherwise, how would you not know me? Colleen Bollinger, famously known for portraying the Miranda Sings character, is an online influencer, actress and YouTuber with millions of followers across the internet. But before her rise to stardom, Colleen was just an ordinary girl that lived in Santa Barbara, California. She was born into a conservative Christian family, which came with its own hurdles. Being homeschooled throughout her junior high school, Colleen had a passion for standing out and expressing herself in comedic ways, which was suppressed while she was around her parents and siblings, but came to light when she attended San Marcos High School, where she was able to make friends and use school as an escape from her conservative Christian household, often participating in theatre and band clubs. After graduating from high school, Colleen attended Azusa Pacific University, where she received a bachelor's in vocal performance. With a passion of acting and singing burning bright inside her heart, Colleen started attending musical theatres, but the outcomes of attending the stage plays wasn't the success Colleen was hoping for. So she went online to express her talent and used comedy as a way to attract viewers. In 2008, Colleen saw an opportunity to upload comedic videos on YouTube, but didn't know what type of comedy to bring to the table. After days went by, she remembered the times during her college years where she interacted with self-absorbed classmates who thought they were talented in singing, but in reality were terrible at what they did. From those experiences, Miranda Sings was born. Hey guys, it's Miranda. Colleen began uploading YouTube videos where she portrayed the character of Miranda, who ironically sang out-of-tone popular songs, gave satire commentary about internet trends, and performed comedic skits. The character slowly gained attention and Colleen's fan base began to grow. In 2009, Colleen uploaded the free voice lesson video, which to her surprise became viral and started taking her channel to new heights. Many fans found the persona of Miranda Sings as unique and hilarious, as no other YouTuber at the time was doing satirical comedy like Colleen. This made her stand out amongst most online personalities. The more Miranda Sings became popular, the more hate Colleen received. Many people mocked and called out Colleen for her cringy comedy, awful singing and bad outfit choices, not knowing that Miranda is just a satirical character that Colleen portrayed for YouTube. But the hate only improved Colleen's comedy, as her persona became even more exaggerated and over the top, mocking the haters in response. It seemed like the online hate served as motivation for Colleen to become a better comedian. And it showed, as Colleen began achieving new heights of success, starting countrywide tours where she would perform stand-up comedy and skits on stage in front of hundreds of fans. The feedback from the tours was unexpected, as many people applaud Colleen for being a top-tier comedian. Not only that, but the live shows gave Colleen the opportunity to express herself in a new environment that included a larger demographic of audiences. Colleen achieved her first million subscriber milestone in April of 2014. From there, her career began skyrocketing as she began appearing in multiple late-night talk shows and web series hosted by famous comedians, even getting her own Netflix show called Haters Back Off, which ran for two whole seasons. Talk about meteoric success! The reception Miranda received was unlike any other, being praised by famous news outlets like The Hollywood Reporter, who ranked Colleen as one of the top 25 digital stars. The YouTuber made headlines all across the internet that sang her praise, eventually becoming a viral sensation that was the first of its kind to break out into mainstream media. 
In order to gain an even bigger following, Colleen kept on expanding into new territories, like starting a second channel under the name Colleen Vlog, which featured more personal content without any portrayal of any characters, and hosting even more live shows, this time going beyond borders all the way to Canada. The YouTuber turned internet celebrity gained a total of 10.7 million subscribers and 2.3 billion views on the Miranda Sings channels, along with 6.9 million followers on Instagram. By looking at the history of Colleen Bollinger, we asked the questions, what were the reasons that contributed to her downfall? And why are her fans exposing her all across the internet? Like all things, Colleen's long-running streak of fame was soon coming to an end as the controversies against the YouTuber began piling up. On April 28, 2020, Adam McIntyre posted a video on YouTube titled Colleen Bollinger, Stop Lying, in which Adam accused Colleen of grooming him when he was 13 years old and shared the history he shared with Colleen in detail. In the video, Adam explains that back in 2016, he used to be a fan of Colleen and ran multiple fan pages for her on social media. After meeting Colleen during live events multiple times, the two eventually became close friends. Adam and Colleen began talking to each other over social media, during which Colleen shared private details about her divorce with ex-husband Joshua Evans and vented about her frustrations to Adam. Now, a 30-year-old sharing private details about her life with a minor is odd enough, but things started to get even weirder as Colleen started asking Adam to look over at drama and gossip channels to find out what they were saying about Colleen's ex-husband, her fan base, and herself. After feeling like he was being used by Colleen, Adam tried distancing himself from her, but eventually got pulled right back in. Adam carried on with Colleen's tasks and even managed her social media accounts, but Colleen crossed the line when she sent women's lingerie to Adam. Do you want the bra, Adam? <laughs> Adam do you want the bra and panties? Tweet right now. Although many argued that it was Adam himself who requested Colleen during a live stream to send the unused lingerie to him. Even after the fact, many criticized Colleen for sending a minor pieces of sensual clothing. Adam's video gained widespread attention from all over the internet, which led to many people digging up old videos of Colleen, which featured her pretending to be a Latina woman with dark makeup on, <laughs> and another video of her talking about how she murdered her family dog after physically harming it. So I grabbed my dog for no reason, just grabbed the dog and pinched its skin and dug my nails into it. After the backlash, Colleen posted an apology video addressing all of the controversies and apologizing for her past mistakes, along with her intimate relationship with Adam when he was a minor. The video received positive feedback, with many fans taking Colleen's side and sending hate towards Adam, mass disliking his video. But it seemed like the controversies were just getting started, as all hell was breaking loose three years later. When the dust settled and it seemed like everything went back to normal, Adam came back with the receipts and started making more videos exposing Colleen, showing various screenshots and group chats where it showed Colleen having inappropriate conversations with him and other fans who were minors in a group chat called Colleenies Weenies. But that was just the tip of the iceberg as Adam shared explicit videos of Colleen that she sent to her fans in group chats showing her shooting a tampon into her mouth. Soon, Rolling Stone came out with an article mentioning the toxic behavior Colleen expressed online and on live shows with her fans in detail. After the article was published, many fans came out and shared their traumatic experiences with Colleen. One fan explained how she was sexually exploited during one of Colleen's live shows when she was a minor, where Colleen made her do yoga positions by spreading her legs wide open in front of hundreds of people. I was laying under Colleen and she was smirking down at me while thousands of people were laughing and I was terrified. The controversies kept piling on as people called out Colleen for being fat phobic for making fun of her podcast co-host Trisha Paytas in private fan group chats. Along with that, a video resurfaced of Colleen singing Beyonce's Single Ladies in Blackface, though Colleen's legal team mentioned that the face is painted green, which was done after performing a previous act. The final nail in the coffin was not a fan exposing Colleen with screenshots or old offensive videos resurfacing. Instead, it was Colleen herself, 
as she responded to the backlash and controversies by posting a video on her second channel that featured her singing a song in which she called out everyone for riding the toxic gossip train while playing the ukulele. Even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing. The video got bombarded with dislikes, many people leaving comments like, she didn't actually address what she did and what parts are rumours. I just wish she had gone about this a little bit differently since the ukulele seems very insensitive. This is so insulting to the victims. The video was so extraordinary that it was mocked by popular content creators all across the internet, increasing the hate tenfold from all online communities. Sheesh, talk about going down in flames. Ever since the controversies came out, Pauline lost all her podcast sponsors and her second channel lost 30k subscribers in one day, ruining her reputation for years to come. Is there any way Pauline's reputation can recover from the chaos? And how would things have turned out if Pauline hadn't responded to the backlash with a ukulele song?